When faced with immensities, what does one do? What is one's response? Do you remain in check in your heart? Or do you panic, which is all of the mind? It's easy to say what one would do before a real emergency actually hits. It's easy to talk all day long about what's, what one's actions are going to be. But when faced with immensities, those actions might very well be different than what one's talk was. The big question is, do you remain in check? Or do you just outright panic? That's been a big part of this lesson as well, that question. It's very blatant and very obvious over many years that all of these truth channels, a lot of these prep sites, they've been presenting panic to everyone over and over and over again. Just pounding that drum of panic, which is all of the mind. They've made big claims to know about what the future is going to be like. Enormous claims. But where's been the huge amount of evidence to actually prove it out? And week over week, month over month, year over year, it just ends up being a dud. People have already had 25-year food supplies that have expired. Actually expired. So the panic has just again become an aspect of salesmanship. Just something to sell you. Another product. Another book. Another DVD. Another subscription to a website. So on so forth. Just always trying to sell something. While at the same time, the, the deception of it is to constantly cry wolf. Constantly have all these individuals crying out wolf, crying out wolf, deceiving and taking advantage while they're doing that. And then finally, there would be a real emergency and everyone's done hearing it. It's like, ah, I've already heard all this. And as I said, they're caught unawares because they haven't done the true preparation, which is to remain in check when faced with immensities, when faced with a real emergency. That's why this lesson has been so important. And for those who actually experience the effects of it, that's a good thing. If the lesson hit home, that's a very, very, very good thing. It means that you have something valuable to really work on in the next while. Because, as I say... In the future, in the near future, we will be faced with immensities that cannot be ignored. No one's going to be able to deny a real emergency. It's not going to be just whoever speaking into a microphone and just talking about something and then tra-la-la, everything just continues on. You can just keep going and getting your drive through coffee at whatever fast food chain, you can, yeah, keep sipping tea, essentially. And then these people are shouting into their microphone that there's an emergency. And the majority of the world is going, huh? What are you talking about? So, what I'm saying about immensities to come in the near future is that these immensities will not need to be announced. No one's going to need to shout into a microphone. It's going to be something that cannot be ignored, just like a real emergency. 
If your house is actually on fire, you don't need someone on a website to pound the drum of fear telling you that your house is on fire. You see it's on fire. The end. And you do what's necessary. That's an emergency. You don't need to be told. That's just obvious. But the signs are everywhere for what's inevitable. I don't need to reiterate that. Just really observe to to the really attentive and those who have their eyes wide open, if you will, can see the signs. None of this can carry on for very much longer. Anyone who's seen with their heart knows that. This cannot continue indefinitely. And so the inevitable result is that there's going to be enormous changes coming. And this is what I mean by the real court is going to be in session soon. And when that happens, that's when the impossibilities will occur. All of these things will be seen. But not until then. So a different type of preparation has to be done as I'm saying, which is about remaining in check as opposed to panicking. And so the panic prep, yeah, it builds supplies in hell. It builds inventories in a burning house. It says, I better get my prepper supplies prepared and stock them up where the house is going to be burning down. So that's That's the panic prep, which is of the mind. And of course, the prep that I'm talking about that's going to be so necessary is of the heart, where one remains in check during the real emergency situation that no one can ignore. That, again, in my belief, is what's to come in the near future. And why discernment is... So essential. It is critical in terms of everything that's that's to come. As I say, it's about separating the truth from the lies. And that's not going to be a simple task. It's not going to be just baking some cookies in your kitchen on a Sunday afternoon. No one's going to have time really to rest, is what it comes down to. That's why those who are just dismissing the alarm, taking that approach in terms of the prep inwardly, well, they're not going to be ready. They're going to want to hit snooze, take a little nap. Well, one has to fight the tired. In a real emergency, there's no time to be tired. And especially, it's not just about running out of a burning house, you know, and that could maybe just take a a couple minutes, let's say, and then you're out and then you feel safe. No, immensities mean immensities. This is not something that's just going to be over and done with in a few minutes. It's going to be quite the duration of time that everyone is going to have to contend with all of these things. And none of it is going to be easy for anyone. No matter how prepared or unprepared anyone is. That's why all of this is so damn important. So the big question, and I'm not going to speak much today because I'm just going to leave this question as... As something to just really go into. Today's message. Are you going to remain in check? Or are you going to panic? Really go into that. Let that sink deeply inside of oneself. It's so important I'm not even going to say anything else today. Alright, stay safe everyone. 
Talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.